assalamu alaikum uh, welcome friends uh, in this video we shall see the cost allocation methods available in the cost center accounting namely distribution assessment direct activity allocations and indirect activity allocations so this video is in the series of the uh, videos uh, playlist which uh, in which i am covering the concepts and the business processes in controlling module so in the previous video we talk about what we do in the cost center accounting and this one we shall discuss the cost allocations and in the next video we shall see the basic master data which is used in the cost uh, allocations so this is the broader picture of what we do in controlling that we discuss in the very first video in this playlist that the data actually comes through uh, different modules in financial accounting and then from financial accounting it flows to the controlling uh, technically the two databases are same now in the espohana system we discussed this uh, earlier in the earlier video and then in the uh, overhead management component uh, the first module is the cost center accounting so we are discussing the cost center accounting and within the cost center accounting uh, if you recall uh, we discussed earlier that there are three basic processes that we perform is the cost center planning cost center budgeting we discussed the difference of the two as well in the last video and the cost allocations so the most important thing the cost allocations which is part of planning as well as part of actual postings as well so this is something we are going to discuss in this current video so recall the two stage allocation that uh, you would be aware of uh, from your management accounting uh, studies earlier that we usually study in the theory so there is uh, uh, an organization in which there are some service departments and there are some operation or production departments and service departments are actually providing services to the production departments and production departments are those departments from which the physical product is going to be uh, manufactured so all the cost uh, applicable to the manufacturing actually has to go eventually go to different jobs for example so these are the jobs or the products right maybe uh, if this is a process industry there, there is a different processes or products so the costs are to be allocated from the service department to the production department and then from the production department to the products so this is a bird eye view of the cost allocation that we usually study in the cost accounting course now mapping it to the sap uh, controlling first of all uh, we need to keep in mind that in the cost center accounting we do just the first stage stage one allocations not the stage two allocations because stage two allocations means that we are actually working working out the cost of the product or cost of the job or cost of the process this is not the purpose and goal of cost center accounting this is the goal and purpose of product cost controlling uh, or product cost planning so that's a different sub module in controlling so in the cost center accounting we only do the stage one allocation that is transferring of cost allocation of cost from service departments to the production department in the strict book sense or we can say that we just we just transfer allocated costs from departments to departments from cost centers to cost centers right so it is not necessary that the cost is always allocated from service department to production department sometimes the cost is also allocated from service department to another service department we shall see some examples over here so first thing is that in the cost center accounting in the cost allocations part we just take care of uh, the stage one allocations which is the allocation of cost among different departments now two things you should note in this slide is that it's all about overheads right we are not talking about the direct material cost we are not talking about the direct labor cost this is something which will we will talk about in the product cost controlling here we are only talking about the overhead cost and uh, i'm not going to, uh, to confuse you uh, with some more thing is that we can do this cost allocations not only for manufacturing overheads we can do it for non manufacturing overheads as well right but just skip it for the time being the second important thing which you should remember over here is that this is applicable to all organizations not just to manufacturing organizations because if you if you really consider the stage one allocations it can be there in any organization so for example there is a trading organization in which there are there is a purchasing department there is a sale department and there are accounts department finance department and then there are stores and quality control and things like that so all the departments are eventually serving the marketing department the sales department some service department or some operation department so the cost eventually have to be consumed by 
the eventual department which is earning the revenue. So say if uh, there are two different products and there are two different sales department in a trading concern or a manufacturing concern, then all the cost of the organization eventually should be divided into the two different sales department or two different revenue streams or two different segments. So that's why uh, the cost allocation, the stage one allocation that every department actually serves some other department except the last department, which is which is actually serving the market. So in this way, the cost has to be divided uh, to the uh, departments which are earning revenues, right? So eventually this is uh, applicable to any organization, not just a manufacturing organization. Although we can argue that the stage two allocation is strictly for the manufacturing organization, but not a stage one allocation. So these are the two things you should remember over here. Uh, now coming on to a little bit more detail, uh, over here we see in the, in the last slide, we just saw that uh, all the cost was flowing from the cost service departments to the production departments. Now it's not necessarily the case. So you would have studies the different cost allocation method in the cost accounting. That is a direct method, step method and reciprocal method. And these are applicable when there are there are many to many relationship between the cost uh, between various departments between various cost centers which allocate cost among them so it's equally possible that powerhouse is uh, providing some service to the canteen department so it allocates its cost to canteen because canteen is consuming power and the canteen department is providing some service to the powerhouse department because there are people who are in the powerhouse department who are consuming the subsidized food served by the canteen for example so the cost of the canteen has to be distributed among other departments to the powerhouse department as well. So this, there can be multiple relationship of the cost allocation and SAP controlling cost center accounting supports all of them. So traditionally in the book, uh, we usually see the direct method, step method and reciprocal method. It is when there are different departments serving each other in different patterns. So this all can be support. So there are four methods now uh, let's see which are which SAP cost center accounting delivers for the cost allocations that we just saw the stage one allocation. The first is known as a distribution. The second one is known as the assessment. The third one is known as the direct activity allocation and the fourth one uh, is known as the indirect activity allocations. And keep in mind that uh, one of the major issue with SAP as I have already been in, uh, reinforcing its understanding to my to my students is that it is vocabulary intensive. So it has its own vocabulary, sometimes sometimes illogical vocabulary, sometimes multiple redundancies and duplications, seven different names for the same thing with the slide changes and things like that. So these are distribution assessment. These are not just common terms that we use in the business. So these are these have specific meanings. These are the specific tools, specific programs for cost allocation. So in the videos to come, we shall see how each of them is different from the others and how they work. Uh, so this is uh, last the message uh, which is very important for all of us because end of the day we have to return uh, and face the eternity on the day of judgment. Thank you.